right. Good morning. Good morning. It's actually 9.27 a.m. I went to bed at like around 11 p.m. Maybe 10, 20 minutes before that. And I was really tired. And yeah, I actually woke up at like 8.30. So it was like just an hour ago. I haven't even brushed my teeth or showered. Though I don't really shower because now that it's in that stupid weird zone, the heat barely comes on now because it's not that cold anymore. And of course, that means the hot water is not nearly working anymore. <sighs> so cold showers for me for the next six to eight months. Great. Great. So anyway, someone suggested Game Theory. I think it was someone from YouTube. And we have some pretty good projects lined up today. Because I've been having people ask me about Wall Street Finance. Uh, I saw this yesterday announced on the Yield Wolf Discord. So these guys are on Yield Wolf. They got very good TVL. So we're going to definitely check that out. And it looks like people are pulling some money out of Game Theory. I guess their Genesis might have just... Okay, it's actually kind of cold. I guess their Genesis might have ended a little bit. <clears throat> so they had like 1 to 2 million TVL yesterday. And then... Because I found out after I was done... I didn't realize I didn't get new socks for my feet. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, so now they're down to, you know, whatever this is, well, a little under 600000 So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe my landlord would still be j cheap, just as cheap if uh, crude oil prices were like $50 a barrel instead of, what is it now, 100 something Oh, great. Is there a hole in this already? There's a hole in this sock already, man. I'll deal with it later. <clears throat> so... Oh, and check out the new playlist on the channel. It, I, uh, I made a video yesterday after I deleted four videos of these all, the, all these scam shit projects. And I created a playlist of all the projects that I'm currently invested in. Because that's that's how you know I'm still in those projects. Just, just check the playlist. So, you know, obviously, you know, you can do whatever you want, of course. But this is what I personally do, right? And of course, you know, make make reasonable bets and so, err on the caution of smaller bets because what you what we do is obviously high risk, right? So you're, you're the probability of losing your money is a hundred percent, but how do you still profit from that? That that's the point. That's why you have to pull profits because that's the only way to overcome that, right? You take advantage of whatever high yield thing you're doing, and then you keep pulling profits so that eventually you pull out your initial investment and then and then anything that it produces afterwards is literally free money right now i chose not to do web3 even though i know it's going up like crazy and then just now i had a 33 percent correction no i mean kind of sucks but i was like yeah whatever i'll i just bought more web3 anyway now i have to actually save up for the project that's launching next week which i'm not I'm telling you guys yet because <clears throat> i want to make sure i get in on the uh, little i guess semi-private sale or stealth launch or whatever the hell it's called but, I mean, there's going to be plenty of room, too. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Because if, if I can get my share, because there's a max limit, obviously, because we don't want to create super whales, then, yeah, I'll do a video on it and then, you know, get the rest of you in. I'm sure the project, because the guy's in the Elite Discord, too. So, but we also got to be careful about botters and whale, whale super predators and all that stuff. So. so, anyway, check out my new playlist. Right now, there are, like, 15 projects in there, right? So, just pick whatever you want. Uh, or invest in all of them, because obviously I'm in all of these. <clears throat> and then I'm obviously looking to add new projects. Like, this is not on Yield Wolf Game Theory, uh, but it could have been. Uh, and, and I still might, because I don't know, we're about to do the research. Uh, yeah, we're going to do the research, right? If, if their APR is like 10 to 20, 30%, then I might actually do it, because these guys do actually uh, use smart APR system. They even tell you what it is here. So I don't even need the documents anymore. But yeah, he did 60-40. And uh, I probably will invest in this one, right? So I'll have to do the video on Polygog, right? Because that's already on Yieldwolf, so that's already perfect for me. And I already have, I'm now establishing a presence on Polygon, mostly because of Sphere. Yeah, and then yesterday I, I invested in, in Cygnus, that's actually up 37% now, going to Deck Screener, right? Right after I did my video, so all you Kotegas, you, know, you should be very happy, right? That's why you gotta like and subscribe to this channel, right? This channel is for winners, all right? You're an effing winner, right? Unless you complain to me, then, then then I ban you from you know you commenting on my YouTube, and then you have to wait till I go live 
and then if the super chat you know works you know and you have to donate like 100 bucks say hey can you unblock me from your youtube and i'll like okay yeah obviously you have to also give me your, your youtube channel i don't know how the hell that's gonna work though I don't know. That's your problem, right? I mean, that's why you gotta, like, not be an asshole towards me. It, it, it's a simple rule, right? So, I don't know. Alright. So, alright. So, these guys are on Phantom. Uh, they got a lot of crap going on. So, they got some sort of NFTs. Okay, so you can mint some kind of NFT. Okay, great. It will stay color of the mint. I don't know. You can take a look at this. This is why I don't actually mess with NFTs, but I know these are very valuable. I mean, Renzo actually has been moving into the NFT space because, you know, he needs more content. So this might be something up his alley, right? <clears throat> okay, and the best part is it seems you have to use DAI stablecoin to, like, upgrade your NFT. So it's, I guess it's kind of like a node. That's what it sounds like. And at the top, you see... My camera's part, uh, covering part of it, but there's a treasury one, a treasury two, and a developer fund. So, so what I like is this. So this site has already thought of, you know, you know, he's storing it in stable coins. So they already thought of user uh, usability for everybody. I really like that a lot. So, yeah. And then the developer fund is right now kind of empty, but they have this. So they have 482.42 uh, tokens of theory. So I believe that's the share. So they really have $48 times whatever, 483. Or, uh, so they have like $150,000, anywhere from like $160,000 in this. So the developers are actually pretty, sitting quite pretty. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, oh boy. Okay, so these guys are definitely know what they're doing. So maybe I should actually invest in these. I mean, I have to do it manually though. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. After Genesis pool, okay, we should probably read this. So they said they're building a 2D RPG game and they're gonna do it on Phantom Opera. So they wanna do a com combination of Tomb Finance, which is what this site is, and DeFi Kingdoms with, to bootstrap liquidity for the launch of the game. So as long as these guys are actually making a real game, this is going to be a really huge project. Okay. Well, I mean, everyone says they're doing this and they're doing that. So, I mean, then nothing happens. But from the way it looks, it looks pretty good so far. It actually looks pretty good. <clears throat> Stake your Genesis. Okay. Yeah, and then whatever. You know, it's a standard, uh, you know, do this, but do that, but do your tune for. All right. Now the moment of truth. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to hit the stake button. So this is their base peg token, game die, right? Yes. So they're slightly below 2.0 peg. Okay. Uh, okay. So th they actually already do something different, it looks like. Wait. Is it? What? Okay. So it looks like you're actually earning something different. The withdrawal fee changes the longer you are in the farm. The fees are as follows. One block equals 25%. Less than an hour equals 8%. Less than a day is 4%. Less than three days is 2%. Less than five days is 1%. Less than two weeks is 0.5%. Less than four weeks equals blah, blah, blah. Equal to or more than four weeks of very, basically nothing. Depositing and claiming does not reset your withdrawal fee. Depositing or claiming does not reset your withdrawal fee. Oh, okay. So if I add more to my position or I hit this claim button, I don't reset this timer. But if I hit the minus button, because obviously I have nothing in here, if I hit the minus button to withdraw this, then put it back in, it does reset this timer. <clears throat> Withdrawing or depositing any amount of claims or rewards, which is standard. The amount of rewards created and locked decreases every week. You can find a locked... L3 origin, my wallet button, view the docs for more info. What the hell? I don't know. Okay, so this thing is saying. Boy. Okay, so the thing, I don't know what this total, D, <clears throat> total DPR is. But according to L theory, 
APR. I think we could ignore the L theory. Because I don't actually know if you're earning any L. Like, let's say I just buy game die. I know I'll earn theory, but I don't think I'll be earning L theory because you need to, that's supposed to be, you're supposed to do the NFTs for this. But with that being said, I do actually like this withdraw fee uh, part because it's basically a tax system. That's basically what it is. You need some way to tax this. And for some reason, Pakemaker, I don't think they can get their tax system to work. Obviously, I never cared as much because I was just pulling profits every day. Okay, I did twice a day since I had a pretty significant position in there. So, so yeah. Ah, great, this thing is actually distorted. So your real daily APR, I think, is this. So when I highlight theory, it says 4.53%. Okay, daily, that's the daily AP, uh, that's daily APR. That's why D. But if I view theory APR, if I can highlight this, there we go, it says 1,645.55% a year. Yeah, so you're not really making like this crazy number, 64.41. I mean, maybe you are, but I don't know. Like, how do you get the... <clears throat> okay, well, this thing does say if you deposit this, you'll earn theory and L theory. So I guess you are making 64% a day. <clears throat> Didn't they say that this thing is locked, though? Well, I gotta admit, this is very confusing. Okay, so they still have the same withdrawal uh, tax system in here, which I am out. Also claims your rewards. You know, at. Okay, what? At 1.01 or lower, it is 95. Your model. The amount of rewards locked increases the closer to underpay game is. It is 95%. At 4.0 or higher, it is zero pay. You get your rewards after your pocket is over. The TWAP, you can find your locked L game rewards. You might well probably be the docs from our info. This shit is so fucking confusing. Yeah, this, this, this probably definitely requires a, a little more high IQ, right? Oh, jeez. Um... Oh boy, it doesn't help that the uh, numbers all get cut off because I'm on the Brave browser. <laughs> okay, so you're making 16% a day. Okay. Okay. Okay, so if you stake theory, you're going to get a bunch of these guys. Okay. I don't know, this is a little more complicated than I like, but I mean, it's necessary because they're actually doing a lot of things. So this one's not as complicated as, I forgot the name of that project, but it was on Kronos, right? You know, and they had like all these crazy, they had like three, four different tokens, right? I mean, you all saw that video or you can check it out if you want to do it, but I just stayed away from it because it was just too complicated for me and too confusing. This one's a little simple. This one's simpler than that. And more importantly, whoever designed this site or the project definitely knows how to organize their information. And they, and they know they have a lot of information there, so they try to keep it compact and simple as possible. So I really appreciate that. So this, yeah, I think I might actually try this site because I, I don't know. Uh, so what do I do? Do I do like, so do I need like more charts open? I mean, I don't know, man. I don't really want to do complicated stuff, though. That's, what did I set this chart to? One hour. How about four hours? Okay, this gives me a better holistic view of everything. Okay. All right, so, I mean, it looks pretty decent, right? Because it bottomed out after the genesis, and then now it's consolidating upwards. And the prices are actually pretty reasonable, especially the share price. Okay. So here's the th problem. I can buy game in theory, but where do I... So if I have L theory, how do I dump this token? I mean, that's kind of... Okay, so maybe I won't do it because this is only 4.5% a day. I don't know. You know what? This looks pretty good. I was, I'm still not going to do it because... Because uh, right off the bat, I don't think I can sell those extra tokens I get. I guess you're supposed to just keep them for now and then... I don't know. Maybe it's up to you guys and gals. You could, you could, you could just decide on your own. I mean, it's a, I think it's still a good project. Don't get me wrong. I think this is still a solid project. 
but you know, in, in my case, I'm just gonna pump more into Polydog. As it turns out, Polydog on Yule Wolf only gives like you know one one percent a day or something. Then then you know whatever. Um, yeah, because because if he's not because here's the thing, if he's not gonna link out to buy L Fear and L Game and whatever, I think he doesn't really want you selling it anyway. So, it's like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'll respect the dev, but, you know, or the project, but, you know. It's not worth, if I'm manually doing something on your site, with the exception of Printer Financial, you know, I'm going to need something pretty significant for me to actually waste time to have an ta extra tab open in my Chrome. You know, I want something simple. Okay, so anyway, uh, I don't know what their inflation rate is. I tried looking at it before I hit the record button. Uh, so I have to assume for now it's 4.5%. However, the peg token, it's not too bad. It's 112,000. So maybe they have a lower rate of inflation too in the boardroom. So it's up to you. Great. It looks like the RPC is not returning anything. So I don't know how I'm going to write this. So, Okay. Let's see. How do I figure it? Okay, I want theory DPR. Theory DPR is 4.36. So I'm going to just write 4.5% daily APR. I'll just write it at that. Well, actually, what was their... Of course, this thing doesn't work right now. Did they have a, yeah, they have a total daily... No, that's not the right one. We want the theory because that's what you can buy and sell right now. Uh, where is game APR, game DPR? I think it's this one. Because I was looking for theory. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Uh, okay, so your game daily APR is 6.35%. So you can still make some good money off of the boardroom. So I'll write 4.5% to 6% daily. All right, because you're going to have to actually stake the boardroom if you want the higher APR. Uh, but yeah, other than that, this does use the smart APR system. The APR is not enough for me to justify, high enough to be, to justify a little higher whatever. But with that being said, this could be an interesting project because I'm not, I'm not checking beyond whatever because everyone says we're doing this, we're doing that. That was part of the idiots that were spamming my so-called, well, I guess they were FUD videos. That I deleted, right? He was like, oh, they're doing all these things. You're just not doing your research. F you, download. It's like, you, 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 like you, you, you effing retarded, uh, gullible idiots. That's why you're always poor and investing in all these scam projects. I'm just like, I, I don't want idiots like that, you know, following my channel. Which sucks because I could use more subscribers and they could use my info. But, you know, you gotta stop, like, investing in scams, right? Like, just, just admit it. You took up, you, you, you invested poorly. You invested in a loss. Just take your losses. I do it all the time, right? And I do, and I actually get richer because of it. It, it it's like, I, it's like the most important attribute of being a Christian, but really just any body in general, is to admit that you're effing wrong when it's clearly obvious that you're wrong. All right, you know, it, 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 it's, that's just how it goes. It's, it's, it's nothing more than that. But Satan makes you think with your thoughts. That hey, just hold on a little more. Just hold on. Yeah, then you're gonna wind up like all those retards that like held to uh, what was that time Wonderland from ten thousand all the way to like fifty, a hundred fifty bucks. I mean, why do you think I lost almost all my money in fucking Metaverse Pro and Congo because I did the exact same fucking mistake, right? Now we're gonna do that dumb shit retard shit again. I guess now I could say this. Kevu was also in Metaverse Pro. That's how I met him, right? In fact, I actually blocked him the first time because he was, said something in the Metaverse Pro Discord I didn't like. And then, of course, I we, I don't even think he knows that, but I eventually I blocked him anyway because he didn't even remember. Uh, he just remembered, oh, hey, it's you, Harbinger. Yeah, I really like you. He was like, oh, I, oh I'm the asshole. I better unblock him. <laughs> right? I don't know. So, anyway, he he actually admitted that he was wrong, took the losses. I won't say his, because he told me they're wrong now. I'm not going to tell you, but... He took like 40, 50 percent losses, and then he put it in the Titano, I think. All right, he made it, and he deserves to make it because he admitted that he was wrong with the Metaverse Pro investment, got out half of his money, which sucks. Unlike my dumbass, where I lose 95 percent of my money or maybe a little higher, 
right? I told you what the number is, $60,000. had four years of hard work from 2017. So I technically I didn't lose it yet because I still have my congruent position, but that shit's going to be in there for a long time. So Kevin puts his money in a Titano. You know what happens with Titano, right? And then now he's made whole. He made big profits. And now he's like basically in charge of High Point. So, you know, he's doing really well for himself. But that's the power of admitting that you're wrong, right? Just take the effing losses. And to see people still doing that and then coming after me, it's like, okay, then just, just enjoy, just enjoy being a seafood, right? Just enjoy being time wonderland, you know, have fun, you know, losing all your effing money like I did. Right. So, you know, I, I don't know what else you can do with these people. All right. They, they, yeah. They deserve to lose their money. All right. I deserve to lose my money, which is why I got my ass kicked. Well, I'm not going to make that same mistake again. Okay. All right. I can't tell you how many shitty projects I've covered on this uh, channel. Right. That seemed okay. I put money into it, and then it just goes to shit, right? Uh, Otto is one, I think. I don't know what's happening, but no, I haven't checked. I heard that maybe Octro might be doing better, but again, I don't really care. So, who knows? Anyway, check out uh, Game 3. They do look like a pretty solid project. I personally will not be investing in it because it's, the APR is not high enough for me to justify manually working the project. But again... You maybe you want to dig a little deeper, find out there really are because I think because if they were making a two D RPG, I would like to see like a link or screenshots or something, all right? Especially because it's a video game. I know all about video games. It's what I do on my off time, all right? I especially like two D RPG games because I used to play this game, RPG No Steam. I probably don't have the right Steam, all right? I like games like this. I better not play that, all right? So, you know, I don't play this anymore because, you know, I, uh, play, I play different games. I play uh, King of Crabs, The Psycho Frontier, because we just lightweight escape from Tarkov. Uh, and still in closed beta, so it'll end in a couple weeks. And I'm playing Firestone on Idle RPG. Because, you know, I'm getting older and slower, but wiser. So, you know, I need something... <laughs> I really need something more casual, all right? It's like, you know... Like, you do start feeling your age, and you just don't feel like going fast anymore. You know, my, my time has, it has come, or passed, or whatever it is, right? So now, now I just do, like, wise stuff. And it's fine, you know? So, you know, whatever, you know. I, when I get my shit settled, or I feel my shit settled, I'll be chilling in Florida, or I got my own little real estate thing going, right? Get my commercial property, you know, I'll marry a, you know, hot wife or something like that, and, you know, I have a lot of kids, she takes care of the kids, I do my thing, I become a multi-deca hundred millionaire, and then I eventually become a billionaire, and then, you know, whatever, you know, I'll decide what to do with it. All right, so I'm starting to ramble, so that means there's nothing more, <laughs> more to talk about. I'll see you in the next video, it's going to be about Polydog, Polydow, whatever it's called, but we'll, we'll find out, and, yeah, I do like this, I do like this project, all right? Seems pretty solid. So, I don't know. You can check it out if you don't mind manually uh, taking profits. And, of course, you have to take a look in the L Theory, L Game stuff, which is the extra tokens you get, which I assume is going to be used for their video game, right, their 2D RPG game. I don't know. So, whatever. Up to you. Like, subscribe, share, etc., uh, etc. Et if you actually happen to know about this project, too, just, make, just leave a comment in the YouTube description. You know, it'll help other people out, too. But... Uh, but yeah, I mean, this looks uh, pretty decent, and I do like the numbers, and whoever is making this project obviously knows what they're doing, so that's always a very, very huge plus, so I definitely look forward to maybe hearing about this project again down the line, but preferably when they're, when they're out with their actual game, so we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. See you in the next video.